Hello, my name is Magdalena Proszowska and welcome to 10 minute video tutorial about painting hairs. Uh, as you can see I already have partially uh, painted the hair in and I have a very rough sketch uh, where the hair is supposed to be. Um, it's very uh, easy for me always to imagine uh, that the hair are um, acting like a ribbons. So I always try to imagine they have this kind of quality of a flat surface. And this instantly helps me to understand where will be the shadow and where will be the highlight. I will start just with um, blocking in the colors first and the primary shape because I have the gradation of the color through the hair. For now I will not uh, think about the shading, it's more first to apply the color change in the hair. And now I will start to think about the shadow area and highlights. So these planes that are directed upward and will catch the light will be lighter in a color and those planes that are directed downward will be shaded I can hide my sketch, I don't need it anymore, the blockout is finished and I can start um, adding details and just polish the surfaces. I wanted first um, just blend it together, uh, make sure that the big shapes are correct and then I will be adding a smaller detail into it. Especially on the endings of the hair, it is important to just show a few windows of light shining through it so they will not look like a plastic block. And don't forget that the hair will also drop shadow on the face, so the areas of the skin that are covered by hair should be as well darker.
I would blend it as well with the background color to give it an effect that it's blending in uh, to the air that is surrounding her, like standing in a fog. And it's all about drawing from the big shape to smaller shape. So from the very big uh, mass of hair, I am slowly building up the detail layer by layer. From using a big brush to using smaller and smaller brush. We yeah, have few more strokes and a few more. Um, a little bit more polishing, few more strokes, and I think I will be done with this part. It is um, not really hard to paint hair as long as you think about the uh, blockout and um, this ribbon approach that I mentioned at the beginning. Just imagining the um, dimension and what face is facing which direction really helps to build up a really good looking realistic hairs. Hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial. If you have any questions just leave the comment below and I wish you all a happy day. Thank you.